guys, so welcome to your first ever video um, that I've ever produced to teach some math learning. So I hope this works. We're going to learn today um, what we mean by the word value. And we're thinking about the word value in terms of place value. We talk about place value all the time, and I know you know what that means. Um, but what do we mean by that word value? Have you heard that word before? I bet you have. You've probably heard about it when you go shopping. Your parents might say, is that really a good value when you pick out shoes that cost $120? Maybe the value is um, overpriced when they, when stores choose how much to charge you for a, a pair of shoes. So I know you know what that word means, but what does it mean when we're talking about place value? It essentially means the same thing. So let's look at a number. Let's look at this number, see if you can say it before I say it, 381,492. Um, if we were to talk about the value of a digit in this number, let's say, let's say we talk about the value of the digit eight in 381,492. What we're talking about then is we're saying that the value is 800,000. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Should I do one more example? I know, you probably don't need me to do that, but I'm going to anyway, it's just a video. Okay, so let's say we chose the three, the digit um, three in the 100,000th place. What's the value of that? I didn't hear you. Okay, yes I did, 300,000. Did you say 300,000? Okay, I think you get it. I'd like you to pause no, I really do mean it. Pause. And I want you to turn to page 16 and do the first five problems you see there. Oh, wait, hold on. I said pause. Okay. I have, a, I have one of these for you. Sorry, I'll get used to this. Now you can pause. I want you to read page 16 and do problems numbers one through five. You'll get done really quickly and then you'll come right back to the video. Okay, hit the pause button. Okay, I hope we're back. Um, so we're gonna move this slide and I'm gonna remember what I'm doing next. Okay, the next thing I wanna teach you about is expanded form. This um, learning the value of numbers is important so that we can write numbers in expanded form. And we do this because it um, helps us make sure we understand what the value of the numbers are when we're looking at large numbers. So this part's easy. You've done this before, but um, I want to just remind you of it. So I hope you can see this number, 381,000. It's the same number we were talking about before, 381,492. It's rubbed off a little bit, but it is there. If we were to write this in expanded form, we're taking this number and we're taking the digits and we're looking at the values of each of the digits and we're adding those values together to make this number. So what do I mean by that? Well, we start with the first digit we see in the number, way over on the left-hand side, so the first digit, which is the three, right? But what place value is it? It's hundred thousands. So we're gonna take the value of the digit three, which I'll write down, 300,000, and we're gonna add 80,000. You often see this in a long line, but my whiteboard's too short. Um, in your books, when you look at that, you'll see them all strung together in a very long, expanded form. Plus, what's next? Let's see. Uh, we have got the one in the thousands place. So we add 1,000. Plus, we have a four in the hundreds place, so plus, oops, plus 400, plus 90, yep, you're right, plus two, right? Easy. If we add up all of these numbers together, what do we get? You got it, 381,492. So that's what it equals. I'll write it down, just in case. You missed that, okay? 
One tricky area where some kids have gotten confused before is when there's zeros in your original number. So zeros in the number. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. We're still writing an expanded form, um, but now let's take another number. Let's take 8,100,000, what was I thinking, 600, okay? So now we see, you know, the eight digit in the millions place, the one digit in the hundred thousands place, but we only have zeros in the ten hundred or ten thousands place and the thousands place, and also we have some more zeros here, right, in the hundreds, uh, sorry, in the tens and the ones place. Um, so how do we write this number? in expanded form. Do you have your math journal? You can pause and go get it or just find some scratch paper. Write it out. I'm going to write it out here and you can compare to see if you get the same answer I give. So I'm going really slow so that you can get started because one little tricky area is when there's zeros. Okay, you ready? I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to start writing and then you Okay, did you get that? So when we write 8,100,600 in expanded form, we end up with 8 million plus 100,000 plus 600. You don't have to take these digits where we see zeros holding place values um, with no value in there. We don't have to add zeros over and over again. So that's all you have to write. Okay. So the lesson's over now. I hope that now you understand how to write numbers in expanded form. And I also hope that you understand what we mean when we're talking about finding the value of a digit in a number. And if you have any questions, you know how to find me. Um, thank you for watching.